What's going on everybody? Today we're taking a look at Rep Fitness's brand new colored competition bumper plates. This is the 90 kilo set in front of me, but they also do come with the 25s if you opt for them. I personally did not because these are usually in my home gym and I just don't really have a use for them there. They also do come in pounds if you wanted to go that route as well. The build quality of these bumper plates is exceptional, especially for the price that you're paying for them. The diameter of the bumper plate is 450 millimeters throughout all the bumper plates as specified by the IWF. The collar opening is 50.5 millimeters. It fits really, really tightly onto pretty much all the barbells that I've tried these bumper plates on. The exterior rubber part of the bumper plate is a virgin rubber. It's a 92 shore durometer rating. These are not the hardest bumper plates that I've tried. The rogue bumper plates that I have at my gym are a little bit harder, but in real life usage, when you drop these bumper plates, I don't think I found another set of plates that hit the ground quite as hard as these ones and have such a low bounce as the Rep Fitness bumper plates. The thickness of each bumper plate is pretty much spot on to what Rep Fitness has on their website. The 10 kilos are 1.25 inches. The 15s are 1.75 inches and the 20s are 2.125 inches. The 25s are 2.75 inches. When I did hand measuring, pretty much everything came out right on the money to what Rep Fitness has on their website. So they're very, very accurate in those claims. The weight tolerances of each bumper plate is within plus or minus 10 grams. On my postal scale, the bumper plates measured a perfect 10, 15, and 20 kilos. For anything more accurate than that, you're gonna need industrial grade equipment, so you're gonna have to take Rep Fitness's word for it when it comes to the weight tolerances. The hub construction of these bumper plates is excellent. With all the drops that I put them through, the hub still is really, really solid on the bumper plates. The bolts have not come loose at all. The actual hub itself is zinc coated, which has a really, really clean look to it. The lettering is raised and has a contrast. It's obviously white and looks really, really nice. The two things that I do not like about these bumper plates is that they do share, show wear pretty quickly. There are some marks on mine. If you drop it on rubber, you're not gonna have too much of an issue, but if you drop it on wood or anything, they're probably gonna get scuffed up really, really quickly. And the next thing is that if you have them on a flat surface, the ground, and you're trying to pick them up, the edges are done in a way where it's really, really hard to pick these up. So I'd recommend that you get a vertical bumper plate holder when you have these style bumper plates. The hardness of these bumper plates makes it so that when you drop them, they do not go anywhere. These are some of the lowest bounce bumper plates out there. If you have multiples on the bar, then it really doesn't make any difference. But the difference comes if you are using a single plate on the barbell at a time. All of these have really, really low bounce. Obviously, the lighter plates have a little bit more bounce than the heavier plates, but all of them, compared to other competition bumper plates, and especially compared to black rubber bumper plates, have extremely, extremely low bounce. At the same time, that same hardness can translate into a little bit more vibration throughout wherever you're dropping these bumper plates. I definitely recommend that you drop them on rubber stall mats or some kind of platform, something that's gonna detract from the vibration and noise that these things can produce. They are definitely one of the harder bumper plates and the sound that comes out of them can be a little bit harsh, but if you are dropping them on stall mats, that shouldn't be an issue. If you're dropping them on pound pads, that shouldn't be an issue. And same thing goes with the platform. Most people are not gonna just drop them on concrete, even though you definitely could. When you pick these things up with a barbell, there is absolutely no slack in comparison to other cheaper bumper plates. The collar opening fits really, really on point with whatever barbell that I've personally used. So when you start pulling, these things will start moving with you. It's a really, really stark contrast if you're used to using just normal black rubber bumper plates. 
Now probably the best feature of the Rep Fitness Color Competition bumper plates is their value aspect. The 90 kilo set only retails for $490, which is extremely low. That's probably the cheapest that you're gonna pay for a colored competition bumper plate set. If you're in Colorado, you can pick these things up free of shipping, which adds much, much more value to the whole deal. If you're in California, then you do have to pay for shipping. If you're anywhere else in the United States, you will have to pay for shipping. Freight shipping to California on these is like $140, so that does take a little away from the value aspect, but otherwise, they still retail for quite a bit less than any of the other bumper plates out there. So if you're looking for a low cost, really, really low balance, colored competition bumper plate set, then I definitely recommend that you check out Rep Fitnesses. If you guys have any questions about these bumper plates, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And as always guys, please hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.